Hello everyone, my name is Mike Steinbach and I'm here in the machine shop at Haas Automation to show you something very intriguing. We're using the new VF pallet pool on this VF2YT to machine these longer belt covers that we use on our rotary trunnions. Have you ever been frustrated by the level of production you're getting off your vertical mills? Well, if so, then the VF pallet pool will likely be the best solution for your problem. The pallet pool concept is something we've had available on other Haas machines for over a decade. Like this row of EC400s that you see behind me. But now, it's available on the VF2YT size vertical machines. It's a well-known fact that horizontal machining centers are typically more productive than verticals. But for parts like these rotary trunnion belt covers, or even larger plate-like work, you're talking about a very large horizontal which not only takes up a lot of floor space, but can also get very expensive. That's where putting the pallet pool on the VF2YT comes into play. With a large work envelope of 30 inches by 18 inches, and the ability to have four separate pallets to exchange in and out of the machine, this is the most cost-effective solution for these kinds of parts. And of course, the VF pallet pool can make easy work of small parts in larger quantities just as well. Traditional pallet changers on vertical machining centers have been around for a long time. But the Haas pallet pool is different. A normal pallet changer only has two pallets for use on the machine. But the Haas pallet pool allows you to use four separate pallets, not only giving you more capacity, but also added flexibility. There are really a number of different reasons why having a pallet pool on a vertical mill makes a lot of sense. The first and most obvious advantage is the issue of spindle uptime. A pallet pool allows you to change out work holding, load and unload parts, or even do some inspection, all while the spindle continues to turn. These are all contributing factors which get in the way of cutting chips and making parts. Ultimately, it's about finding ways to get more machining hours out of each day. By having a pallet pool, you can make sure your machines are ready to run through breaks, lunches, and especially at the end of each shift. Why not walk in the next day to four pallets worth of finished parts? That would be some real productivity. In this setup, there's roughly two hours of runtime in the machine cell. Hit cycle start at the end of the day and watch how you just increase your spindle utilization. Do that every day of the week for an entire month? Well, now you're really talking. Making parts at the end of the day without having anyone standing in front of your machine is a sure way to boost your profits. How often do you find yourself waiting around for first article inspection? This can also be a significant drain to your productivity. In many cases, we're not just talking about minutes of downtime, but hours, hours of lost machine time. With the Haas pallet pool, you can just shuttle that part out that's waiting to be qualified move in a different job to keep the machine running and making parts. But think about being able to interrupt a job to blow out a rush prototype part. Chances are you typically say no to these kinds of interruptions and for good reason. But what if you could set up that rush job offline in the pallet pool load station while your production job kept running? Then when it was ready, you could shuttle it in and get it done. Now this is no longer an interruption, but an opportunity. An opportunity to serve your customers in a greater way. A very real benefit to having a pallet pool is being able to switch quickly between multiple jobs. I'm pretty sure you've had multiple customers that are all screaming for at least some of their parts to be delivered right away. Well now, you can make everyone happy having multiple jobs in queue, ready to go, one right after the other. Now, some of you watching might be thinking that your guys are really good at keeping your spindles running and that you wouldn't benefit from having a pallet pool. Well, let me show you an easy way to see just how efficient your spindle utilization really is. On your Haas machine, go to the current commands page and navigate over to the timers tab. Take a look at the power on time and compare it to the feed cutting time. Do the math and you can get a quick snapshot of your overall productivity over a good average period of time. Now it's not uncommon to see spindle usage 
as low as 20 to 24 percent. This can be quite an eye-opener. We all like to think that we're efficient at what we do, but in this case, the numbers just don't lie. By adding a pallet pool, your shop can be much more efficient, which will greatly increase your spindle uptime. Think about it. Having a single machine with a pallet pool still only requires you to have a single operator. But trying to run multiple shifts on that same machine without a pallet pool would require a number of different operators. In the same way, having several standalone machines all running at the same time would also require multiple operators. It would cost a lot more and it would take up even more floor space. In reality, once your pallet pool is up and running, your operator can do other things like run another machine, do some inspection, maybe get raw material cut and ready for the next job. You get the idea, doing more with less. Here's a good example. Here we have just two machines, each operating at 30% spindle uptime, generating a combined total of 4.8 production hours in an eight hour day. Compare that to just one of these machines with a pallet pool, operating at just 70% spindle uptime, throw in an extra two hours of unattended machining at the end of each day, and we get 7.6 hours of production. That's an increase of over 58%. 58% more productivity. Now I realize there are many ways to increase spindle uptime. Adding a power pool is just one of those ways. But the next time you're walking through your shop, start looking for these real world examples of how you can affect your own shop's spindle utilization.